A quick announcement for if you want to take your trading to the next level. I recently started a profitable trading signal group in which I show you and I send signals of all of my trades. If you want to join this group or if you're interested in that, go check out the first link down in the description or in the pinned comment. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this new video. An update on Ripple or XRP. We should say XRP. I uh, wanted to make an update on this because, well, first of all, it's been very long. I think the last time I made this was somewhere in January, uh, if I made one in January, but it's been, uh, it's been some time since I covered XRP. Uh, and I wanted to make an update on that uh, based on the technicals, but also talk about the fundamentals a little bit with, uh, with XRP. Fundamentals are obviously a big part of the picture. So yeah, let's get, uh, let's get right into it. Right now, the volume of XRP is actually pretty amazing compared to the market cap. Um, I would argue it's still it's still fairly low, but it's uh, it's it's nearing towards that one billion level again. We opened this week bullish with the markets, um, which is likely to continue, but it's uh, it, it all depends on. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty important fundamental week again. Uh, tomorrow evening we'll have the FOMC minutes, for example, or no, it's actually it's actually Wednesday. <laughs> But it shows it, uh, yeah. So Wednesday we'll have the FOMC minutes. That's important for the market. Uh, the dollar strength index is making some moves, which are, uh, which I'll monitor very closely. Um, but they're important as well. We just hit a major support, so that's bearish for the markets. You can also see that um, Bitcoin, but also XRP is reacting to it fairly well. Um, doesn't mean that it's going to stay this way. We also hit a major resistance level, so we'll still see the effects from that as well this week. Um, but a pretty important week. On the side of Ripple, though, there haven't been any major updates. It's still waiting for the uh, for the summary judgment. I think it's fair to say that we'll have it in the next half half a year, but who knows, right? I mean, it has been postponed and it hasn't been postponed, but it has been taking quite a long time. Um, so, all right, so if you take a look at XRP right now, what you can see is that we basically have gotten into this kind of consolidation between 40 cents ultimately uh, and 38 cents as a support level. Uh, we're in, in, in the middle of this. Uh, you could argue that there is still some bearish momentum, which is true. There is, has been some bearish momentum ever since, I'd say, the middle of January, but this actually comes all the way from the top. And we've been respecting this quite a bit. Fundamentals also added up with it quite nicely. Uh, but what you can see, whether you want to draw the trend line correctly or not, what you can see is that we had a little bit of a stronger downtrend right here. Uh, starting the 5th of February, uh, but after Tuesday, I think we actually managed to break out of that. So we got back into a consolidation, which brings us into, um, I'd say, quite an, quite, quite an interesting market structure where you kind of have this triangle forming right about here. Uh, and you can very well see that, that we're being squeezed, right? And right now, fundamentally, I'd say the markets are a little bit more bullish uh, than that we are bearish. If you take a look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, for example, uh, so what I ex expect for XRP is not a lot. XRP has been consolidating uh, and has been in different ranges for quite a long time now, um, definitely since the middle of January. Uh, so what I expect is that from here, just on the, mic on the micro scale, I think we'll find some resistance. In the end, I do think we'll be able to get up towards 40 cents, but we'll stay in this consolidation between 40 cents and 38 cents until we get a big cataclyst. And that cataclyst could be Wednesday evening when we have the FOMC minutes. If they, for example, say that, all right, well, we'll have to change the monetary policy, then this will drop down to 36 and a half cents. And from there, we'll see again. If, however, which could also very well happen, uh, we get some news about the Ripple SEC case, something like that, which I cannot predict, but it could happen. Or the FOMC minutes are about that, no, all right, the inflation rate numbers were a little bit high, but we'll stay on course with what we're doing right now. And we could do something like this, break above 40 cents, take a break retest and get up to my first price target again, um, around 42 cents. A little bit of a conservative price target, but in times like these, when the markets are pretty volatile uh, and uh, hard to predict at some points, we have to do have conservative uh, price targets like this. So that's my, uh, that's my take and update on XRP right now. Let me know uh, if you have any questions, but for now, enjoy your Monday and take care.